Hey guys, welcome to the desk. I'm Dan Lehman. Uh, I just discovered the boys. Uh, the TV show, not the gender. Still straight, ladies. Uh, anyway, here's Puncher. Here are your news stories. Hundreds of fans showed up in Haberstadt, Germany to witness a change in an organ piece that was supposed to last 639 years. Unfortunately, it was followed up by somebody yelling, Play Freebird! A US candy maker makes a Willy Wonka style contest. Unfortunately, the twist in this story is the Oompa Loompa is in charge. The return of football with fans in the stadium has renewed new virus fears, said one fan. Trump says he may use his own money on his campaign. Damn, we're going from super PAC to super POS. Trump's attacks put military in a presidential campaign minefield. Of course, Trump loves a minefield. He just creates one all the time. When he sees a field, he goes, mine. It's uh, a cute one. Disney expects to reopen a little over 50% of its hotels by the end of the fiscal years, and you better hope it's the most magical place on earth because that's the only thing that's going to protect you from COVID. A St. Louis Zoo said a female python laid seven eggs without male help. The male python was still there. All that it did was say, keep breathing, honey. Trump and Biden marked 9-11 with the very different tones, like Biden honored the dead and the first responders, and Trump commented that he liked buildings that didn't get destroyed. Anthony Scaramucci said to CNN, this should scare every one of your viewers. Ha! Oh my god, he was right. Two days after Hurricane Laura, a McDonald's business owner gave away 10,000 free meals from a portable restaurant. Not to be outdone, Burger King gave out the french fries to be used as mortar to rebuild houses. Fans booed the moment of unity at the NFL opener. It's the first evidence of brain damage in the crowd of an NFL game. Slate wrote, I love my poly lifestyle, but the constant sex has one big drawback. Sounds like you could use a break. Put me in, coach. 201-year-old wreckage was found at the bottom of the lake. Don't worry. If we do retrieve the wreckage, we have something to replace it so it won't be missed. For the desk, I'm Dan Lehman. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. I'll see you next week.